All right, folks, welcome back. It's only been about an hour and a half since I uh, saw you last. Yeah, let's do it, Philip says. Reed Nascimento with us tonight. Brandon's with us. Sean Heckman is here. This is going to be good. Yeah, this should be, uh, this is the other, um, this is the other sealed inner from the personal break that was done last Friday. So that is correct. Um, and it is going to be a hot one. This is going to be good. Uh, I'm excited. My two most favorite products from this year's offering from Upper Deck, Artifacts and uh, 92329, which we know is a, otherwise known as a translation for sealed black diamond uh, inner. Let's rock and roll with this as we get a few more people in here. Um, and uh, like I promised, there's your, uh, there's your Young Gun Series 2, seven packs. Those will be done at the end. I told you I'd give them to you, and uh, I'm, I'm going to hold true to it. They're here for you. This is going to be awesome. Give me a thumbs up that so you can hear my voice nice and loud and clear, and I'll get the roster read, and we'll get going on this break. This is going to be a little bit of a long one. we got uh, 40 packs of artifacts to go through, and then five boxes of black diamonds. Quad diamond? Yeah. I don't know. I haven't seen the checklist. Is, is there a, what do we got? Do we got a, do we got a Barrett Hayden quad diamond out there anywhere? I haven't looked at the checklist in a few days. Good. Good to hear. Crystal clear. That's good. That's nice. It means all of our equipment that we've invested in is working. Thank goodness. I remember for those of you, I know Brandon was here uh, over a month ago when we started this about to uh, two, two months ago when we started this break. I think we've been doing, we, this is about our two month mark for this uh, breaking group, which is fantastic. And I appreciate all the support from you guys. But I remember uh, when we got started about two or three weeks into it, we were having some major stream issues because uh, we had to figure out some, 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 some workarounds because I was trying to do everything on Wi-Fi, which is the wrong answer. Uh, if anybody is i uh, I'm not an AV dude or an IT dude. So um, doing everything on Wi-Fi was broadcasting from the camera to the computer and the computer to the router and the router to the internet. It just wasn't working. So we had, we ended up going back hardwire and everything, picking up an actual stream mic. And I think, uh, what you guys are get you, what you guys have right now is, uh, yeah, it is, is about as good as it's going to get. It was a rough patch. Yeah, it was a rough patch. I was getting mad, uh, contemplate throwing the computer through the wall a couple of times, but Hey, we're good now. All right, let's get going with this roster read. All right. Let's see here. Let me take a look. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Five team mini tonight. Not too bad. All right. Anaheim Ducks and the Arizona Coyotes both going to the mini. Boston Bruins going to Ben Watson. Buffalo Sabres going to Brandon Leston. Kyrie Flames going to Sean Heckman. Hurricanes going to Dan Shepard. Brad Gardner has the Blackhawks. Nick Serino has the Avalanche. Columbus Blue Jackets going to Sean Heckman. Dallas Stars going to Sarah Racino. Detroit Red Wings going to Eric Huey. Excuse me. Edmonton Oilers, Nathan Degagne. Panthers push to the mini. Los Angeles Kings going to Gavin Robinson. Minnesota Wild, Keaton Parker. Montreal Canadiens, Larry Resch. A huge Canadiens pull out of our, our last three boxer about an hour ago. That was a monster, Patrick Waugh. That was a beautiful card. I'm still I'm sitting over on my desk. I'm still looking at it. Fantastic. Uh, we've got the Preds. New Jersey Devils go to Philip Nascimento. Islanders go to the mini. Uh, Justin Connors picked up the Rangers tonight. Ottawa Senators go to Curtis Robinson. Philadelphia Flyers, Sean Heckman. Pittsburgh Penguins, Mark Sovic. San Jose Sharks go to Justin Connor. St. Louis Blues, Gavin Robinson. Tampa Bay Lightning go to the Mini. The Leafs go to Nick Serino. Canucks go to Sean Heckman. VGK goes to Jeremy, or Jeremy, Jamie Marintate. The Caps go to Sean Heckman. And the Jets go to Brian DeGrace. Five teams going to the Mini on this bad boy. Whiskey? Not yet. A uh, few beers in, but no whiskey yet. Uh, maybe Jennifer and Hayden are upstairs finishing dinner right now, so we'll see what happens after that. I'm sure if you ask her nicely, she'll pull some larceny down here. All right, five teams of the mini. The Ducks, the Coyotes, the Panthers, the Islanders, and the Lightning. Larry Resch has got one. Ray Rangel's got two. Mark Sovic has three. Sarah Racino has four. Nathan Nagania has five. Sean Heckman has six. Ray Rangel has seven. Mark Sovic has eight. Sean Heckman has nine. Ray Rangel has zero. And Larry Resch locked in the all-important no serial number wildcard slot. For the mini tonight so let's get going uh let me know if you can hear me loud and clear and uh that's what we're going with first right there box one or break 160 box number one for artifacts we're doing it 30 seconds we'll go live
All right, we are good to go. Getting a lot of thumbs ups. Getting a lot of people watching. Eric Huey with the Detroit Red Wings is in the house, and he says we're good to go. And uh, yep, we hardwired absolutely everything. Alaska internet is uh, it's it's kind of a double edged sword. It's a very very good internet because um, unfortunately you pay for the t you pay through the teeth for it. It's very expensive in Alaska, but the internet you do get is unlimited, and it's a gig transfer line straight to your house. Unfortunately, when it uh, when it does go out, um, or there's a you know there's an interruption in service, uh, it's crazy. Um, and then obviously when you try to mix Wi-Fi into that, it can get also very very crazy. Everybody here in Alaska is on Wi-Fi, uh, so I mean, you're constantly fighting everybody else's signal on 2.4 and 5G. But otherwise, let's go. Who's ready? Rock and roll. I'm gonna get these eight packs out for you because I want to see this. Uh, <laughs> last break, we had nobody. But tonight we've got the Preds. Preds are back. Sean Heckman took my Preds in the last break and actually picked up a couple, couple, uh, couple hits. Um, so we uh, we were, we were at least claiming the Preds. We couldn't get the Oilers in this one, but we did take the Preds. Uh, it's it's rare that we didn't take the Oilers in this one because two of my most favorite products. Uh, go figure. We're probably gonna Nathan Gunny is probably gonna pull something significant out of this one. Um, but I'm ready to rock and roll for artifacts. Let's get it going. Uh-oh. We got people moving downstairs. Who is it? Hi. Who's there? Hey. Hayden? You coming? You want to say hi? Here's the first box. Or first pack. First box. Ready? Claude Giroux. How about a Ryan Palin for the Habs? Larry Resch. 25 of 199. A little dual color, dual jersey. Ryan Palin. Very nice. And a Ryan Nugent Hopkins. Base card. Hopkins. All right. You guys gonna eat? Yeah, it's cooling. Cool. All right. I love these artifacts rookies that they do like this, where it's that sideways or they call it a horizontal variant. And uh, here you go, Larry Resch. Pick it up one for Ryan Palin and the Habs. <laughs> They're asking for more whiskey. Oh, I don't have any. I had to get up too early. Yeah, she. <laughs> oh yeah. Nice. All right. I can't do the whiskey when I have a 4.45 a.m. morning. Yeah. I actually have a meeting tomorrow. Tomorrow I have to go in for two. All right. Second pack. First box. Louis Erickson base card. Darnell Nurse base card. And a Guy Lafleur for the Nordiques. The Nordiques, that's going to push to the Avalanche. Nick Serino, 173 out of 599. And then Elias Lindholm base behind it. Who did? Yeah. Uh, Guy Lafleur. Yeah. The... Yep. But this is a Lafleur. Yeah. Oh, that's right. We have a Canadian's auto. Don't we have him? Yeah. I think what this is a. Is this one is gonna be. Well, obviously it's this year, but it's it's. <laughs> no, I mean like. Ninety ninety one. So this is a. This is an Avs hit though. So it's a Nick Serino. What if we got a throwback rookie card okay. for him? Uh, that'd be cool. That would be cool. It's kind well, of a throwback. I agree. Great big boo. Boo, what, for the whiskey? Yeah. Oh. Start, yeah, if we get that whiskey out, I'm going to start giving away black diamond boxes. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, here we go. Adam Henrique base. Followed up by a Derek Steppen for the Yotes. That's going to go to the mini, and that's going to go to 15 of 20. Makes it a Nathan Degagne hit. Nice, little purple. Ben Bishop base and a Tyler Bozak base behind it. Wow, look at that for the Coyotes. That is a purple 15 to 20. Derek Stepan, uh, beautiful, limited card right there. Coyotes go to the mini, which means Nathan Degagne and hot number five takes that bad boy home. That one's going to Canada. All right. All right, let's see here. Go on anymore, make sure you're seeing everybody's chat. All right, cool. Pack four. So far, we got some pretty cool cards coming out of artifacts. Only four and a half more boxes to go. Drew Doughty base. How about a Tate Thompson for the Blues? Gavin Robinson. There you go. Year one rookie sweater for the Blues. Mika Zabanajad base card behind that.
All right. Very nice. Reach for a protection for that. Tage Thompson. Gavin Robinson. There you go, buddy. Tage just blew a blood vessel behind us, sneezing so hard. All right. Kolvacek. Nylander. And here's another Ryan Paling, 49 and 999. That's going to go to Larry Resch to join the other uh, Ryan Paling he already hit tonight. A little silver to 999. Beautiful cards out of artifacts. Absolutely love them. Love the artifacts. There we go. Base cards over to Base Mountain for artifacts, and let's keep moving. Give us a thumbs up if you can hear us in the stream chat. It's getting kind of quiet. We just want to make sure you all can hear us. Looks like we got our redemption coming up. John Carlson for the Caps. And a Buffalo Sabres. Brandon Leston. Got a Buffalo Sabres rookie redemption. That's going to Brandon uh, Leston. Nice. Congratulations, buddy. There's a good hit for you. Let's see who it is. It's going to be red 184. I know you have the checklist ready, so you can probably tell, uh, your, tell, tell us all who you picked up. Thomas Shabbat and a Athanasiu base. There you go. Rookie redemption. Buffalo Sabres. Awesome. Let's see who it is. Brandon's going to let us know, I guarantee, within probably five seconds of who that, who that rookie redemption is. And then we'll get it on its way to him. I repeat, red 184. Beautiful. All right. Seventh pack. The first box of artifacts coming up right now. We got a Josh Bailey. A Pecorine base card. That's a pretty card. And how about a Jordan Wheel? Autofacts. Another Canadian's hit for Larry Resch. Victor Olofsson. Victor Olofsson. All right. That's not bad at all. Sean Couturier behind it. For the base card completion for that pack. Brandon Leston picking up a little rookie redemption for Victor Olison. That's not too bad for the Sabes. Where's he going? Where's he going? Who knows? All right. Canadians and last pack, first box. What do you say? Montreal box? Yeah, there's a lot of Montreal in this box. Montreal! Taylor Hall! Braden Shen, I think that's another Gavin Robinson pickup. A little copper action, fifteen of that fifty, yeah, fifteen of two ninety nine. Alex Tuck and Dougie Hamilton, base behind it. Beautiful. All right, Braden Shen. So that rounds out the first box. Pretty good first box. Nice little icebreaker box for us as we warm up towards everything else later to come. 11 boxes tonight, including the Series 2. And there's one down, 10 to go. All right, so we got a Braden Shen. Jordan Wheel, Autifacts. Rookie Redemption for Brandon Leston for the Sabres. A Paling to 9.99. Tage Thompson. Derek Steppen to 20. Guy LaFleur to 5.99. And Ryan Paling, Gold. 25 of 199, dual jersey card. And there's your first box of Artifacts, folks. All right, going to take a drink, and then we'll get going with Box Numero Duo. Get Base Card Mountain out of here. So we can keep adding to it. We're going to have another pile of base cards after this box. Here we go. All right. Artifacts. No need to learn about artifacts. We've got plenty of them right in front of us. Here we go. Empty box. Moving on. Eight pack second box. First up. Out of the second box. Let's see. Let's see. Got you playing while I work. Won't be able to respond much to you, but it's coming, brother. Yep. Yeah. Got you, Gavin. We're covering you down. You got a couple out of that first box, and we still got 10 more boxes to go. All right. I gotta pay you back for all those Preds hits you gave me the other night. Inestroza. Hey, team 
Teammates, uh, Artifact Tundra teammates, 107 on 199. Hurdle and Couture for Justin Connor. Nice, buddy. Little Tundra teammates action again. I think he pulled one of those. I don't know if he's these same two players or not. But uh, pulled uh, Tundra teammates for the Sharks for, from us about two weeks ago, if I remember correctly. Got a little spark that just came back in my brain about that. These are rare. Beautiful. Base Mountain starting over here. Here we go. Next up, artifacts. All right, Mike Hoffman, Duncan Keith, and a Libra Hajek for the Rangers. There's another Justin Connor hit, 174 to 999. And a Freddie Anderson base behind it. All right, Justin Con Connor is pulling the hits out of this box so far. Two, two hits, two packs, two hits for him. Don't forget, folks. Uh, tomorrow morning, uh, 0, 09 Eastern Standard Time, 9 a.m. for you non-military types. Uh, we're launching, what is it? I can't remember. Oh, it's a it break 161. It's our, it's our, so here, follow me here. It's our three-box mixer that we're going to double to a six-box mixer, and we tossed in two boxes of Trilogy. So it's an eight-box mixer. Launching 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, and we also have another one of our standard uh, regular three-box mixers, 126. It's out wide open right now. So if you uh you want to keep this uh great week of breaking going, let's uh you got two great breaks in front of you. You got a small one, it's very, very economical. In fact, we just opened one and closed one in uh, about six hours today and uh launched another one tonight, and I'm launching another eight-box mixer, including the trilogy that everybody seems to like, starting tomorrow morning, 09 Eastern Standard Time. So set your alarms. John Gibson. Hey, Andre Svechnikov for the Hurricanes. Dan Shepard. There you go. 22 of 99. Emerald action. Huberdo. And Tomas Tatar. Base card. Very cool. I love the Emeralds. The Emeralds clash the way they look on these in the uh, in the series this year. Absolutely beautiful. Andre Svechnikov for the Hurricanes. 22 of 99. Wind is picking up here in Alaska. I wonder if we're going to get some storms tonight. We will see. Here we go. Tyson Jost. Oh, what do we got up coming up next? It's going to be interesting. What could it be? It's a Max Jones dual patch, dual color for the Ducks. Going to 104. Sarah Racino. Congratulations, Sarah Racino. If you're a racing Sean Heckman tonight, uh, you have just taken the lead by far. That is a beautiful card. Max Jones for the Ducks, 104 out of 199, goes to Sarah Racino. And that is a dual color gold, dual jersey card. Absolute beauty right there. I like the look of that card. That is a well designed card. Max Jones and a very, two very well presented a uh, jersey swatches in there sarah racino all right you are now ahead in the race i can tell you that i'm i'll be the judge and i'm telling you right now you're ahead in that race all right there's your two base cards nice all right halfway through the second box of artifacts love this product just so much fun derek step in there's the base to go with james neal Oh, geez. All right. Let's see what we got next. What's coming up next? What's coming up next? How about a Quinn Hughes 608 on 999 for the Nux? Sean Heckman. You're playing a little catch up, buddy. There's a silver silver rookie to 999 for Quinn Hughes. And a Landeskog behind it. Base cards. But this is not a base card. This is a silver rookie with some very sharp corners on it. And uh, 608 to 999. So Sean Heckman and Sarah Racino are back in the boxing ring again tonight. Reminds me of what we did last night. A little bit of boxing action going on here. Nice. There's your Nux. We have so many more cards to open. We have so much more potential. This is such... I love doing this when we compare. So, so obviously, there's Rasmus Dahl and Base on top. 
we black diamond is is our bread and butter this year everybody in the group loves it it's i mean we've gone through i want to say we've gone through a couple hundred boxes of it since we started this 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 break in group and it's been so much fun um everybody loves it. It, it it's a very equitable and distributable product it's expensive but it's not as expensive as the cup the product that comes out of it is absolutely beautiful but i love the fact that you guys have let us take the black diamond and the artifacts and mix it together because the artifacts I mean, we're opening up these five boxes. We're opening up 40 packs at four cards a pack. I mean, that's 160 cards. So everybody's getting something for the most part. I can't guarantee that, obviously. But it's a very, very, like I said, equitable distribution of cards across the artifacts. And then we get into the heavy hitting stuff. And it's still very, very good. I love this 10-box mixer between artifacts and uh, and Black Diamond. It just offers so much. I mean, look what's out on the table right now. We're only in, book, we're only in box number two. Rossmus Dolan. And we got a redemption coming up. Who's it going to? Oh, rookie relic redemption. Gold jersey jersey number two. That could be huge. Call it out, Brandon. Who's who's numeral number deuce? That is a big redemption. I don't even know who it is, and I can tell you that's a big redemption. We got a that's a Nolan Patrick and a Tory Krug behind it. We're gonna have to pause for a second, folks, because this is a big redemption. Gold jersey jersey. I need to know who that is. That is a, I, I, there's five players potentially that that could be four. Uh, I don't think, I think Jack Hughes is number one. So it's number two. I don't remember who number two is. Yeah, I think Ray, you're right. I think it's Maycar or Glass. I think Brandon, that's a Kale McCarr. Rookie redemption, relic redemption, gold jersey jersey. So that is a gold limited number dual jersey redemption. And that's going to Nick Serino. If that's Maycar, Maycar, uh, that's, that's, that's Serino. If it's glass, it's going to Jamie Marintate. Uh, I think Brandon, that's twice Brandon said Kale McCarma. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's, he's, uh, he's correct on that. Uh, 2019-20 artifacts. Upper deck artifacts hockey checklist. I might as well just pull it up right now. Give me 10 seconds. It's gotta happen. I know that we've got some great group members. In here, they're, they haven't pulled up, but I think, uh, I, I guess we're playing judge and jury on this one. So it's going to be Rookie Relic Redemption Base Checklist, and it's, oh, no, hold on a sec. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's Kirby Doc. Number two is Kirby Doc, folks. That's not Cable, K Kale McCarr. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's why we check. It's not Kale McCarr. That's um, uh, that's Kirby Doc. For the uh, I'm looking at it right now. Roman numeral rookie relic redemption checklist for the rookie relic redemptions gold jersey jersey, and that is this one. Numero do deuce is the Blackhawks for Kirby Doc, and uh, that's gonna be a Brad Garner pickup. That is a significant hit right there. Very, very nice. That's the gold one. That's right. The gold one. Philippe Nascimento, it's the gold one. Yep. It's going to be the gold one. And that is going to the Blackhawks. Brad Garner. Very nice. Kirby Doc, I would love. Can't wait to. Cannot wait for you to send me a picture of what that card looks like after you claim it. I can't imagine. What a gold dual jersey card looks like in the artifacts format with the Blackhawks coloring on. That's got to be a sick, sick card. Welcome to the big leagues, Brad Gardner. Congratulations. All right, here we go. Hornquist for the Penguins base. Gensel for the Penguins base. And then behind it, we've got a Mark Pissick for the Panthers. And that is going to go to the Mini with a Sean Monahan behind it. And it's a non-serial numbered card. So, hey, there you go. Larry Resch. Larry Resch picks up the Mark Pissick for the Florida Panthers. As the Panthers push to the Mini. Picks up the Autofax from this box. Mark Pissick. Beautiful. Larry Resch, congratulations. Very nice. Kirby Doc. That is going to be a beautiful card. 
Here we go. Last one. I think we're due for about maybe another dual jersey. I haven't seen an Orem yet either. Haven't seen an Orem. Casey Middlestat. Anze Kopitar for the Kings. Gavin Robinson hits again. How about a Ruby? 104 to 399. Galchenyak and a little static clean Anthony Mantha. Anze Kopitar going to Gavin Robinson and the Kings. A little Ruby card. Beautiful. Another hit for Gavin Robinson. All right. Lots of spread going on tonight. Kings. Blackhawks, Quinn Hughes, Mark Pissick for the Panthers, Max Jones, beautiful for the Ducks, Svechnikov for the Canes, Hodgick for the Rangers, and Justin Connor taking a Tundra teammates home. Another one, because I'm 99% I'm sure he got one from us a couple weeks ago. And, uh, yeah, third box coming up right now. All right. Don't worry, folks. Before we send anything out, after I'm done, my methodology, how I do this, I mean, other breakers may do it differently, I don't know. How I do it is I take every one of the cards that we break, and I lay them out for the whole break, and I lay them out into team order on the table. And that's then I, then I individually bag them for the people that, that have, have claimed that team, and I bag them together with their other teams as well. But as we move through them, that allows me to identify if we have any redemptions or we have anything that's questionable or whatnot. And then I go and pull up the checklist off to the right on the computer. Everything is validated and verified before it ships out at least three, almost four or five times usually uh, before it hits the bubble mailers uh, on Thursday and Monday. So don't worry. Uh, even if we call, if we were to call it wrong during the break, we would get it right by the time it's uh, by the time it hits the hits the postal service. Next up, pack one, box three, artifacts. Still haven't seen a pred yet. Need to see some preds, huh? Victor Rask. Kyle, oh, there's a pred. Base card. Kyle Turris. Oh, bingo, bango, bongo. Sean Heckman. Holy smokes! For the Nux. Buckle it up, buddy. 21 out of 25 emerald dual jersey, three different colors. Oh my goodness, that is a heavy duty card. Sean Heckman. Uh, let's bypass Philly for a little bit and talk about uh, Vancouver. Wow. Elias Pedersen, I told you he was thanking you for the support tonight. That is him saying thank you for the support. Awesome card, pal. Pedersen, look at that card. It's a 25. Beautiful. Wow. Absolutely stunning that card is. I love that design, the colors, everything about it. Woo, that's a good one. There he is. There's the Canucks. Let's add some more to it, huh? We're not done yet. The Brinkad base. Kerfoot base. Blake Wheeler, 26 to 299. Brian DeGrace. There you go. A little copper Blake Wheeler action. And a Terra Vinen behind him. Beauty. Blake Wheeler. Copper, 26 of 299. Wait a minute. Hold on a sec. What is Blake Wheeler's jersey number? Is it 26? I say that looks a heck of a lot like 26. Hey, Brian DeGrace, you might have just hit a copper uh, Blake Wheeler jersey numbered card here, buddy. Somebody verify and find out what Blake Wheeler's jersey number is. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I swear that looks like 26. That is cool. That's number 26 out of 299 copper variant. And that, uh, I think Blake Wheeler, captain for the, uh, for the Winnipeg Jets, I think his jersey number is 26. So if it is, you got a jersey hit right there. This is a good box. This is a cool box. Rock and roll. Brian DeGrace. Next up, let's see what we got. Michael Bodker. 
Tomas Hernal, 2785 pink. Cool. Justin Connerth, 2785. Braden Shen and a Patrice Bergeron base behind it. That is a beaut as well. Love these cards. I love artifacts, and this is why. Look at the just the sheer brilliance of the cards we're pulling out of this tonight. We're only two and a half boxes in. Just pulling some monsters. Well designed, great value cards. Yep, 26. That's right. There's your eBay 101, Mr. Brian DeGrace. Congratulations. Jonathan Drew and base on top, followed by Taylor. Oh my goodness, Taylor Hall. 92 165 dual jersey going to Philippe Nascimento. Wow, we are spreading it out tonight. Giordano. Base in there as well. What the heck is up with these boxes tonight? If this is anything foreshadowing like what's coming to Black Diamond, we are going to be in need of some significant seatbelt action going on going into this Black Diamond sealed inner. We're going to have to buckle up hard for this one. I hope you all are paying attention and tell your friends. Uh, the, you know, the referral program's over, but tell your friends, I'm all about spreading this out. This is great. Radulov, base. Oh, we got another hit here. Kachuk. And how about a Zadina, 789 out of 999 for Eric Huey. A little silver rookie action going on, followed up by Tomas Hurdle base behind it. Eric Huey's on the board. Eric Hugh had a huge Phillips Adina hit last night, or at least I, I thought it was because I, I really like how it looked. It's a Zadina dual jersey auto out of Artifacts. And uh, yeah, there you go. Zadina, 789 on $9.99. Rock and roll, folks. Ugh. Looks like we got a redemption coming up. Backstrom for the Caps. And that's a base card, and we're going to move into who's got this one, Rookie Redemption, and it's going to the Blue Jackets, Sean Heckman. There you go. Sean Heckman toes down another redemption. And on the back of the card, I'm going to guess it's red 189. Somebody want to look it up? Maybe it's an Emil Bemstrom. Maybe it's somebody else. Pacioretty and a Ryan McDonough base. Sean Heckman, there you go for the Blue Jackets. I, I I knew it. I knew that was a smart pickup when I saw that you picked that up. Blue Jackets are just solid. They have a very good team. Not, not incredibly heavy on the superstars, but a great team, great value usually in the breaks. And then they've got a ton of, uh, of, of just allocations to all these sets. So the Blue Jackets and the Canadians are probably my two top value buys this year. And I'm not claiming to be an expert, but as you guys have seen, I do open a lot of cards, and Hayden and I open a lot of cards on the side of just our own. And uh, the Blue Jackets and the Montreal Canadiens, as far as the value buy goes, always seem to produce. So there you go. Somebody let me know who this is, but it's going to Sean Heckman regardless. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it might be Emil Bemistrom. Yep. Holding all the Oilers for the personal I, I wish... I wish it was that that easy to predict. Uh, I do. Don't worry. You know the Oilers are going to show up, and when they do show up, they're heavy duty. Heavy duty. Kuznetsov for the Caps. How about a Steve Stamkos for the Lightning? Orem. Orem. And that pushes to the mini, which means it goes to Larry Resch because that's a non-serialized card. A3 for Steve Stamkos. Larry Resch picks up an Orem Steve Stamkos out of the mini. How about that? Beautiful. Beautiful. I cannot wait. I love when I get that little quiet time at the end of the night after we do all the breaks, whether it's one. We're averaging about a break a day right now in this group, and I love it. It's great. But today was a hot day. We did two breaks. Uh, but I really, really do enjoy the time where I can, you know, after everybody's gone to bed and I can kind of sit down, I sort this and sort all the cards for you guys and label them, package them up and get them ready for mail day. When I can take a look at the cards that you guys are hitting, uh, some of these cards are just absolutely beautiful. And a lot of this stuff, like the Orums have grown on me this year. Last pack, third box, we got a Barkov on top. They're a fantastic player. 
There's a Dylan Larkin, 236 to 699. That's going to Eric Huey as well. Mitch Marner and the Tyler, a Tyler Sagan base hiding in there. Beautiful. So the hit out of that pack was a Dylan Larkin, 236 out of 699. Very nice for the Red Wings. Eric Huey hits another one. Another artifact hit. Artifact has been good. Artifacts has been good to Eric Huey. Uh, he's been a group member for all of about six minutes and is cleaning house on us when it comes to the artifacts. Red Wing hits. I'll put that right next to his other Zadina. Here we go. All right. So to review this box, look at that monster EP40, as we'll call it. The Blake Wheeler jersey, eBay one of one. Tomas Hurdle, 27 out of 85. Taylor Hall, 92 of 165. Zadina. Larkin, Orem Stamkos, and a redemption for the Blue Jackets. Beautiful. Box four right now. Let's do it. Take a sip, and then we're going to move on. After I transfer Base Mountain over to his friends. Hey, good, Eric. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear. We're glad to have you. And uh, like I said, I've told everybody else in this group, our uh, methodology with this group is... There's a lot of uh, great groups out there. We got a lot of friends that are, are breakers uh, that we've met, um, three or four in particular. Uh, Gavin's one of them, Gavin Robinson. He's a fantastic breaker. Um, and uh, we've, uh, we've, we've kind of just taken the methodology that we just wanted to have a very honest and fair uh, breaking group that I can involve myself and my, my nine-year-old son who's a hockey player in. Uh, and uh, you guys have been fantastic to us so far. So we, we welcome all the new members. Um, we ask, the only thing we ask is that we just keep it, you know, keep it to the, keep it to the, uh, the, the, the base, the, you know, the basics of collective. Um, keep it clean, keep it fair, keep it honest. It's all about the camaraderie. Um, and, uh, you know, we, uh, we love having you. So thanks for joining us. <sighs> Here we go. Box four, box four, pack one. Tom Wilson, I think we got Emerald coming up. I can see a little bit of green peeking out right there. Jimmy Vesey, and behind it, we've got it. Oh, Jay Gensel, look at that beauty of a card. Mark Sovic, 29 of 65, little tricolor jersey action, dual jersey action going on for Jake Gensel. There's a heavy hidden card as well. Need a, need a rider behind it. This is a very heavy card. Beautiful. Jake Gensel. Look at that monster of a card coming out of, coming out of some, some, uh, some, some, some artifacts tonight. Jeez, Upper Deck, what were you doing when you designed these cards? I love it. Yellow, yellow, white, black. Beautiful. And the green clashes. I'm not a designer, but my goodness, whoever designed that card was, you know, was sober that day. That's, a, that's, that's all I got to say. That's awesome. That's fantastic. That is a beautiful card. And we're going to send it to Mark Sovic. Welcome, Mark. Mark's in his first 48 hours of our group as well. A veteran uh, and a gold star parent. I'd like to welcome him to the group uh, and say, hey, welcome to the group. And I'm, I'm, glad, that, uh, I'm glad that you found us. And I, I hope you enjoy your, uh, your, hopefully it's a long, long endeavor for you here in our group. And we can keep supporting you as best we can. Kyle Palmieri base. Evander Kane base. And then behind it, we got a Craig Anderson. 127 to 299. Pierre-Luc Dubois. So I'm going to take a look at this because this is for the Sens. And that's a Curtis Robinson hit, by the way. But I want to take a look at this because we've had some reports here. Okay, so this is not one of them. But I've seen some of these popping up. This is a copper Craig Anderson. 127 to 299. There's been kind of a little bit of a, 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 a thread going around about these Craig Andersons. And they're, they, they, they got a couple, they've got some jersey cards, some artifacts or some relic cards within artifacts this year that this isn't one of them. But if you turn them over, the back is printed out to, like as if it was supposed to have a jersey or an autograph. I can't remember which it is in it. Uh, but this one's, this one's pure. But I guess uh, Upper Deck is actually offering to swap those cards out as they made a huge error during printing for Craig Anderson. All right, third pack. Third pack, fourth box. Let's get after it. Great cards out of this box so far. Jesper Bratt. 
And then behind it, we got a bur oh my goodness, a Bernie Nichols again. Again, Gavin, there you go, buddy. How about another one for you? 16 of 20, Bernie Nichols purple. Jane Swartz, Bo Horvat. So we go a month and three weeks. We started this breaking group about two months ago, maybe a little longer than that, but pretty close to two months ago. In the past week, this is the fourth Bernie Nichols significant hit we have pulled. Up until a week, up until a week ago, we hadn't pulled any Bernie Nichols. We pulled two autos. We pulled another pretty hardcore low serial Bernie Nichols out the other night. And then Gavin Robinson right there picks up a 16 of 20 Bernie, Bernie Nichols for the Kings. Beautiful, buddy. Congratulations. That's a cool card. Yeah, this dude is everywhere, uh, at least in this group over the past week. Before that, we hadn't touched Bernie Nichols. In fact, I don't think anybody knew who he was. Vasilevsky base. Dougie Hamilton for the Canes. Dan Shepard, 45 of 165 dual jersey card. There's a nice one as well. Artifacts is just ringing the bell tonight. Nick Letty behind it, base card. Awesome. Absolutely beautiful. Dougie Hamilton for the Hurricanes. Dressed as a Hurricane, 45 of 165. Beautiful. 45 minutes into this break, and we're not even halfway done. I apologize if I'm taking this slow, but I love talking to you guys, and I love this product. So we're going to make sure that this is accurate tonight. Mike Hoffman again. We've seen him once tonight. Duncan Keith for the Blackhawks. And behind it, we got Eric Brandstrom for the Senators. Curtis Robinson, 348 out of 399, Ruby Rookie. Very beautiful card. And another Freddie Anderson. Hayden is coming to check on me. You coming to check on me, buddy? Still in artifacts? Still in artifacts. Yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not really uh, going too fast tonight. Any huge things? Oh, yeah. We got, there's Elias Patterson. Look at that Jake Gensel out of 65 right there. Cute, huh? Isn't Artifact such a beautiful product? Yep. Yeah. We got Elias Patterson that came out. Still no orange. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, Sean, if you want me to, I'll pull that EP40 that you pulled, and I'll, I'll put it in our pile, and then I'll reach under here into, in, into the, one of the vault cases for the flyers, and I'll see if I can find you special, something special for the, uh, <laughs> for, the, uh, for the flyers there. I'd love, to, I'd love to have the EP40 dual jersey in my collection. That is a beautiful card. John Gibson, and I look at what we got here. We got an Emerald coming up. Emerald Redemption for the Blue Jackets again. Sean Heckman. Sean Heckman. Again, here's an Emerald Rookie Redemption. Yeah, he picked up the Blue Jackets. It's the second redemption of the night for the, uh, for the Blue Jackets. Red 189. I think that's going to be, what was that? Is that Demers Lickens? 189? We'll have to take a look. Emerald Rookie Redemption. Huberdo, base, and behind it is going to be a Tomas Tatar. So John Gibson added that pile. So, right away, we got a Sean Heckman hit. Sean Heckman, Emerald Rookie Redemption. Uh, is it Bemstrom? Yeah. Okay, Bemstrom. Oh, Bemstrom again. Yeah, I should have known. We already got a 189 tonight. Well, I didn't. Sean did. Uh, that's cool. All right. Maybe you can get a Merz Lickens to go with it. Who knows? Base Mountain going over there. Nice thick pack for pack number seven. Let's see what we got here. What do we got in this pack? We got Orem. Tyson Jost. What did we say we didn't have tonight? What do we say we didn't have tonight? Thanks, Nick. How about a Carter Hart Orem? Yeah, Flyers are on the board. Tanner Pearson behind it. Thanks, you guys want to start calling just about everything because it's working. We've seen this in this group before. You guys start calling it. Hayden starts calling it, and then we, we end up producing it. Just comes out. But there's a Carter Hart for, for, for the Flyers right there after somebody called it. Beautiful. There's one. We do need to see some Oilers, though. We haven't seen some Oilers yet. How cool would it be to see some Oilers? There, well, <laughs> Milan Lucic right off the bat. It's not a hit, but it's a base. Let's see what's behind it. 
It's a Bobby Ryan, 82 of 399 for the Sens. Curtis, Ro- Curtis Robinson. That is not his real name. Aiden yelled out, it's not his real name. It is his hockey name, but it's not his real name. Andrew Ladd, a couple base cards to go with it there. All right, Bobby Ryan, one of our most favorite, but definitely probably our most favorite players for, player for the Senators. Uh, you know, he's a, he's a, it's got a cool story. And he's a good player, too. My goodness, is he a good player. He's got, some, he's got, a, he's got a, quite a sick highlight reel out there if you guys ever want to watch it. But I'm telling you, you got to check out that documentary on his, his growing up. Just crazy what this kid went through with his father running from the FBI. 82 out of 399. There we go. Bemstrom, Rookie Redemption, Carter Hart, Brandstrom for the Senators, Dougie Hamilton, Bernie Nichols to 20 purple, Craig Anderson to 299 copper. And how about this beautiful, I love these dual jersey cards, Emerald this year. Jake Gensel. That is one I'd love to have in our collection as well. That's the unfortunate side of being a breaker, folks, is uh, we can't have everything. And uh, when we see you guys hit these massive hits, all we can do is drool. All we can do is drool. I haven't seen a Gretzky in a Kings jersey. Yeah, that Bobby Ryan story, Stevenson, yeah, is, is pretty crazy. It is crazy. All right, folks, give me 15 seconds and I'll be right back with you. All right, folks, I'm back. I am back. Give me a thumbs up that you can still hear us, and we'll get into our last box of artifacts, and we're going to rip open this box of Black Diamond. <sighs> yeah, we need to see some Vegas. We could see some Toronto, some Oilers. We got a, God, we got a few big teams that need to make some presence known here. Huh? What do you think? Let me swap and get some protection going here. Make sure we are topped off moving forward for what's coming up. Get some 180s ready. You know we're going to need 180s for Black Diamond. I'm going to get a few more 35s and 75s set aside. We still got one box of Black, or one box of uh, artifacts to go. Let me open up another box of 180s. Remember the tip I gave you guys about 180s. If you need them for your personal collections, go ahead and order them. Get them from whoever you can because they are in short supply coming out our Ultra Pro right now. Ultra Pro is going to experience probably a two to three month lag in getting those to the uh, local card shops here in the next couple weeks. So if you need 180s, go snatch them up. Uh, that's my little hot tip of the week for you guys because you guys know... At the rate we open up Black Diamond and the rate those thick hits come out of Black Diamond, we are going through hundreds of those a week to ship this stuff to you guys. And uh, I'm buying up every 180 I can get my hands on because I will not touch those 180s from B, uh, BCW. All the 180s I can find for from Ultra Pro, I, I snatch up for you guys. First pack, fifth box. Let's do it. And then I'm, I'm so excited to get into Black Diamond tonight. We got inner case odds coming out of that bad boy. 92329 right there. You know what that means. All right, we got Nylander base. Carlson base and, oh, Ryan Getzlaff. Ducks, mini, Ray Wrangle, 10 of 25. Ryan Getzlaff. My goodness, these dual jerseys are beautiful. Thomas Shabbat behind it. But hey, Ray Wrangle, welcome. Ray Wrangle's on the board tonight. That is a beautiful dual jersey card. How about that one? Oh my goodness, I gotta reach deep. Deep back there for a 180. Ray Wrangle, 10 of 25, pushes to digit zero. That's a Ray Wrangle hit. A little tricolor action going on there. Beautiful. Right off the bat, first pack, fifth box. I love it. I love it. Second pack, fifth box. Let's see what this one has. Josh Bailey again. Pecorine again, and a Connor Hellebuck, 150 out of 699, going to Brian DeGrace. Sean Couturier behind him. 
All right, Connor Hellebuck, Ryan DeGrace. Winnipeg hit. And we'll get that in a Winnipeg top loader. Beautiful. All right. No Max Jones, but it is Ryan Getzlaff, captain of the Ducks. Taylor Hall, behind it, we got a Thomas Shabbat for the Sens. There's another center just hit. 63 of 99, uh, Emerald. Alex Tuck behind it, and a little static cling action going on with a Dougie Hamilton base guard behind it. Pretty cool. Emeralds are taking a strong stand in this last box. Absolutely monster. Monster artifact offering this year. I love it. I hope you guys love it too, because I got a bazillion boxes of it in stock right now to push to you guys here in the next months, I guess we would say. It would take us to consume all of that. Uh, but I love these little mixers we're doing. We got Black Diamond Artifact for years. Let's keep doing these five and fives of Christmas. What do you guys think? Claude Giroux. And a Morgan Riley. There's a leaf set for you. Nick Serino. Morgan Riley. Morgan Riley. Great defenseman. But uh, this time, at least on the card, he's wearing his clothes. Because I know after Connor McDavid shake and baked him out of his pants uh, earlier there in the season, he wasn't wearing his clothes. He got undressed like he was an amateur player. But Morgan Riley is actually one of the best defensemen in the, uh, in the league. So I'm going to stop talking about Morgan Riley. Uh, I just um, I know that his ankles are a little sore from what Connor McDavid did to him earlier this year. Not a problem, though. <laughs> and a Nugent Hopkins behind it. Beautiful. All right, I'm done giving the Leafs some, some junk. Yeah, especially in Connor McDavid. And it's, it's only fair. It's only fair. You can only go up against the world's greatest player of all time uh, and do so much. Morgan Riley learned that lesson the hard way, and I'm sure he's better because of it. Here we go. Fifth pack. Artifacts. Logan Couture base. Roman Yossi base. And Malkin, 684 of 699, going to Mark Sovic for the Penguins. And hiding behind the decoys, a Devin Dubnik base. Gino Malkin. Great player. He's going to go down in the... Probably going to be a Hall of Famer. But hey, uh, you know, I venture to say that Geno Malkin's going to be a Hall of Famer. Forsberg on top. And then a Blackhawks rookie redemption. All right. Brad Garner. What do you think? Kirby Doc or who's the... Uh, Debrink? No, Debrinkat. No, that's not Debrinkat. Debrinkat was a year or two ago. I think it might be a Kirby Doc. How about a red 187? Somebody look it up. Brad Garner. Beautiful. Rookie redemption for you. With a Brennan Gallagher and a Brian Strom hiding behind it. By the time I get the sleeves up, I bet you somebody will let me know who red 187 is. Cardboard connection. Red 187. I know it's going to Brad Garner. I just want to know who the player is. Doc. Brandon says it's Kirby Doc. That's a good one to have then. Very good. Kirby Doc, Chicago Blackhawks. All right, Brad Gardner. Very cool. Here comes uh, the next one up. Oh, we got a red orum. We got a red orum, folks. I can tell. Look at that little edge work going on there. Braden Point base artifacts. How about Nico Hischer? Nico Hischer, Philip Nascimento, Ruby Orum. Beautiful. Franz Nielsen behind it. Wow. Every now and then we pull one of these. Every time we do, it's just monstrous. They are beautiful cards. Beautiful cards. Nico Heischer. Ruby Orem action. How about that? Oh, geez. I got a whole box of top loaders here. I got to pull out. Here we go. Nico Heischer. Ruby Orem for the Jersey Devils. Philip Nascimento. All right, last pack, folks, and then you know what's coming next. We got five more of those, and then your Series 2 bonus box that I carried over from last night. Don't know why I did that. I'm guessing it's a little bit of the whiskey. Kovalchek. Vouchers, 44 of 9.99 for the Senators. Senators are picking up quite a few hits and artifacts here tonight. But then a CU base and a Latang base coming as well. Very nice. 
Very nice. All right. Vouchers. Curtis Robinson taking another one home. You know, we got Bobby Ryan and a few others uh, in, in, out of this uh, break so far. That's great. It's fantastic. I love to see the Sens hit. Sens are a great value as well. Uh, if we look back at all the Black Diamond and everything else we've opened up to include SP Game Used and SPX, we've opened a mountain of both of those as well this year. I would say that between the Habs and uh, and then the other the other team we're uh, talking about, um, who were we talking about as the, as the best value? We were talking about the Habs, but anyway, the Sens are there as well. They've got a ton available in the, in the breakouts this year, uh, and the Sens are as you can see, the Sens are pulling at least one hit out of every box. It's fantastic. So we got Belchers. Yes, laugh at 25. Hellebeck, Shabbat, Emerald, Morgan Riley, Remnants, Malkin, Silver, Ruby, Heischer, and a Kirby Doc Redemption. Beautiful tonight. Thank you so much, Artifacts. What a wonderful uh, half inner of, of Artifacts we had going there. Boom. 15, 15 seconds, I'm back with you. Yeah, the Sens, Sens have got a good offering this year. I mean, that's why, you know, they, they don't have crazy, crazy, crazy rookie hits or veteran hits this year. I mean, there's a few out there. Um, but if you look at the checklist and you just look at the overall population of Senators in Montreal, they have a lot of cards in these, uh, in the, in these, in these offerings this year. And that's what drives the price. You guys, I get a lot of questions. Uh, ask me, ask me quite often about how we figure out the price. How is it that you know this team is more expensive than the other ones, and blah blah blah. It has to do with that rookie population, which drives it mostly, and then the overall population of card offerings per uh, per release for for Upper Deck and and Panini and a few others. So it's it's all it's just a, it's a ba it's an equation. That's all it is. Um, it's, it's an equation. So when you see the Habs out there, you see the Avalanche. The Avalanche are driven. I can tell you right now, the Avalanche this year are driven by Makar. Makar has a lot of hits, and he's got a lot of autos out there. And the hits and the autos that he has are big dollar hits and autos. Everybody loves him right now. But if you look over at the Habs, the Habs have Paling, who's signed a ton of cards this year. They've got a whole bunch of other ones. Uh, the Blue Jackets, that was the value team I was talking about. The Blue Jackets have got Bemstrom, and they've got Merzlikens. Uh, solid, solid players this year, um, but they have a lot of offerings, and that's it's what that's what kind of drives the price in that rookie presence or presence as well. So that's that's how we figure it out. There's, I mean, there's no hiding it. There's no there's no secret behind it. It's just uh, trying to get the best value for your buck. Some people are cool with throwing high dollar, uh, you know, high, a lot of dollars at, at at a break spot, and out of one to ten, they hit a. A, a, you know, a two, three, four hundred dollar card, sometimes even a thousand dollar card. Look at the OV quad diamond we pulled out over the weekend. Um, and some of the Gretzky autos we pulled out, the McDavid's we pulled out. Uh, you know, you might go five or six breaks and get skunked, and all of a sudden you pull a monster. It just depends on the checklist odds. Uh, some, some of those teams don't have very many cards in each of these offerings, but what they do have when they are pulled are monsters. And then we have a lot of teams like the Habs and the Senators and the Blue Jackets that consistently, I mean, look at what happened with the Blue Jackets out of this one. Between the Blue Jackets, the Kings, the Senators, and the, and the Canadians, uh, I mean, at least one or two hits out of every single box of artifacts, and that's just kind of a mainline mid-product mid for Upper Deck this year. Uh, I bet if somebody ran the statistics for, for Habs on all the upper, on the hundreds of boxes of Black Diamond we've opened so far this year, the Habs are going to be well, well ahead of everybody. Yeah, exactly. Gavin, you, Gavin, spot on about the Blues. Blues, right? You know, you would you would think Ryan O'Reilly, anything with Ryan O'Reilly's name on it, being a Stanley Cup champion and MVP from the from the Cup last year, would be fan would be phenomenal. But there's, you know, the Blues are a tremendous value if you're looking at just actual player potential on card this year. Uh, yeah, it's 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 great. Blues are Blues are tremendous value, especially with Bennington and what he did last year. Uh, you name it. Like, blues, blues are good. I like it. But, hey, you know what else is good? Five boxes out of a sealed inner of our favorite, Black Diamond. And I just threw that box and knocked over a whole bunch of other boxes. So, if there aren't any objections, we're going right to left on this one. And I'm just going to pull from the front. And uh, we're going to get them opened up. 
This is going to be great. Sealed in or a black diamond coming up right now. Quad Max Jones. That'd be cool. Quad anything would be cool. I am, you know what I'd love to see? And this isn't just because I have the Predators tonight, as I usually do, except for when Sean Heckman takes them. But I have heard, and I looked at the checklist the other day, and there's a Ryan Ellis diamond card out there, if I remember correctly. How cool would it be? And I'm, you guys probably don't agree with me, but Ryan Ellis is one of my most favorite players. He's a phenomenal defenseman. He's a tough dude, and he's a great player. I uh, had to fight through some, some injuries lately, but he is a great player for, for the Predators. I would love to physically in person, even if I don't get it, to hold that diamond card for Ryan. That'd be the Cody Glass, the exquisite Cody Glass patch, patch card that we pulled probably three or four of those so far this year. And every one of them is just a drool card only. Like it is, you just look at it and you're like, that is the, one of the most beautiful patch cards I've ever seen. Uh, it's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. I am, I am, hmm. I am debating almost every single time that one of these breaks comes up of whether we should take a break from the Preds and the Oilers or Preds or the Oilers or sometimes neither and snag up VGK because VGK has some awesome players between Fleury, Glass, Marcheseau, and then the jersey, the, the, just the coloring on their jerseys. Uh, I mean, it just, it, just makes, it just makes their cards look like a million dollars no matter who is on it. Ellis Single Diamond, that's right. There is an Ellis Single Diamond, uh, and that is one of my kind of my, like, we'll call it a bucket list card for this year. I would love to see or hold or even add to Hayden's PC a bucket or that, that bucket list card of an Ellis Single Diamond. Here we go. Mark Shifley for the Jets. 223 at 299. Brian DeGrace picks up an exquisite collection. Mark Shifley for the Jets. There's your exquisite card for box number one. Icebreaker for Black Diamond is going to Brian DeGrace. Brian DeGrace, let me get that wrapped up for you, buddy. There you go. There's your exquisite card. Exquisite card. Arvidsson, does Arvidsson have it? Does Arvy, if, so if RV has one this year, I didn't see RV on the list, but if you're telling me RV has one on this list, that'll, that'll Arvidsson is my favorite predator. And he will, that would trump, that would trump the Ellis one. If Arvison had a diamond card, that would trump me chasing after the Ellis card. That is sick. I, man, that may, that's making me think I might just have to fight everybody for the, uh, for the Preds in all of our breaks now to chase that card. That is a, that'd be a monster. That would be, that would be a monster card for me to pull. Would be an Arvison black diamond. That is cool. Ellis and Arvison. I'm going to have to do... Some hunting because that is that is that the, uh, that changes things for me. That does. I'm sorry. That does. Yeah, knowing that Arvison, I just must not have read the checklist. Long, uh, I've read it seven or eight times this year, trying to figure out the values of these cards. I just didn't know. So here's your first 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 poll, and there's another Jets. Blake Wheeler, two twelve out of two forty nine for Black Diamond. 212 out of 249. That's going to Brian DeGrace as well. So Brian DeGrace is two for two on this Black Diamond box so far. Two for two, buddy. Well done. Get Blake the, Blake the Wheels Wheeler wrapped up for you here. Diamond Relic Cards. Here we go. Next up. How about a Max Jones for the Ducks? Oh, that's a limited rookie silver on black. Going to Mr. Ray Rangel, 72 of 99. Pushes to the mini, and Ray Rangel picks it up with number two, 72 of 99. Max Jones, silver on black, little limited variant, 72 of 99. Congratulations, Ray Rangel, with a mini hit for Max Jones Auto. That's a cool card right there. All right, Ray Rangel, Ray Ray Sports. I think that's, I believe that's what it is. Ray Ray Sports. Check him out. Next up. Jack Hughes Team Logo Jumbo. Philippe Nascimento. Devils. There's another one for you. I think you just pulled one of these out of our break either earlier or here in the last couple days. Um, bingo. Another Team Logo Jumbo for Jack Hughes. Highly, highly collectible right now. Everybody's 
It's like everybody seems to be chasing some variant and some team of a, a beautiful uh, patch six or eight or ten patch collection out of these team logo jumbos for these super hot rookies this year. The other Hughes. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see what we got here. How about this? For the Red Wings, Brendan Shanahan, gold ring variant. And that's going to Eric Huey. Brendan Shanahan for the left winger for the Red Wings. Very, very nice. Eric Huey on the board again. Great break for you so far tonight. At least that's my opinion. A lot of Red Wings hits. Last one coming up right now is going to be a how about a Kale McCarr 188 or 30, 399 for Nick Serino. Rookie gem card. Kale McCarr rookie gem. Very nice. Not a bad first box. Black Diamond tonight, folks. All right, Kale McCarr. Blake Wheeler. Shanahan gold ring card. Quinn Hughes, or not Quinn Hughes, Jack Hughes. Team logo jumbo. Silver on black, 99 variant for Max Jones. And then there's a Blake Wheeler. All right. Not bad. Here we go. Box number two. Black Diamond. Yeah. So we've seen Jack. We've seen Kale. Now we need some Quinn. I don't know. I'm still drooling over that EP40 you pulled out of Artifacts just because I love Artifacts so much. I'm not joking. If you uh, you decide you want to you want me to pull out anything we have and see what we have in our Flyers uh, collection in the vault to swap out for that EP40 dual jersey, you let me know because that is a heck of a card. That is a beaut. And everybody loves Pedersen. But I have a feeling that card is probably going to go to Sarah, Racino, and Sean Heckman because that is a beaut. And, oh, forgot the exquisite pack. Didn't pull it out, so we didn't jinx ourselves, but let's get this one opened. Exquisite bonus pack. Oh, there's some structure in there. We might, Maybe we got a little patch. Oh, we could. I think, I think we got one of those beautiful patch exquisites going on. Maybe an RPA or an RP patch. Exquisite collection. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Gavin Robinson. Buddy, I know, I think you're at work, but are you watching this? 45 of 49, Tarasenko, exquisite material. Oh my goodness, that's one of the most beautiful, exquisite patch cards I've seen in a long time. And yes, sir, that is a quad color. Let's get this wrapped up for you. Gavin Robinson, holy smokes, bud. I think, uh, I, I, I think we're... We're about, about at least even on the payback from the other night with the Preds. Holy smokes, is that a cool-looking card. I haven't seen one of these for Tarasenko, and that is a monster. And I'm telling you, you might not be able to see it on camera or not, but that blue hiding up there is a different blue than is down here. That is a quad color, buddy. Well done. Well done. That is cool. I love it. Well done. That is moving to Gavin Robinson. Very nice. All right, here we go. Let's pull some. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, folks. All right. All right, I got to settle it. Settle it down. Settle it down. What do we got going on? Take a breath. Could be anything. Woo! Who's ready? <laughs> you see what I'm seeing? You see what I'm seeing? Oh. It's thick. Uh, it's, I think it's too thick to be an SOB. Could be a relic. Could be a relic. Uh, hmm. Let's find out. Let's get rid of this card that's, that's holding it down first. How about a Ryan Getzlaff for the Ducks? Going to the mini. It's 74, 249. There's a hit for Sarah Racino. Any diamond card? I don't know. Look at that. What do you see? What do you see? What do you see coming up next? Any diamond cards in the last box? Not yet. No. We got a Getz laugh. 74 out of 249 going to Sarah Racino. You had ice cream? Are you? Cool. 
You want to watch the stream for me? All right, folks, here it is. Here it comes. Whatever's next is happening. How about... Boom! Rasmus Sandin, dual diamond for the Leafs. Nick Serino. It is a diamond card. It is... Marducks, yeah. Rasmus Sandin, dual diamond relic. Oh my goodness, there is another beautiful diamond card. How many diamond cards are we going to pull this year, folks? For the Leafs, 68 out of 99. 68 out of 99. Nick Serino, hope you're sitting down because that is a monster of a hit for you, buddy. Welcome to the group, Nick Serino. Nick Serino, welcome to the group. That is a beautiful card. Beautiful card. Next up, how about we pull a, hey, Brennan Gallagher, Diamond in the Rough Relics, Jersey Relic for the Habs, Larry Resch. Larry Resch. Very nice. Larry Resch. There's a, you know, Habs coming around. They're quiet there for a couple boxes, and now they're back. Look at that. Rasmus Sandin. Next up, coming up right now, how about Victor Olofsson for the Sabres. Brendan Leston, 28 out of 399, rookie gem. Sabres are, were quiet for a little while, too, and now they're back on the board. Well, Sabres rookie gem, Victor Olofsson, to go with that redemption earlier. Very nice. Last card out of this box is going to be a cup. How about it? There's some Flames action. Mark Giordano. Look at that. Hardware Heroes. And it is going to be the Norris from 1819. There you go. Flames. Calgary. Sean Heckman. Thick Flames card there. That is going to wrap up the second box of Black Diamond for us. Still nothing for the Preds. Wah, wah, wah. Beautiful Flames card, though. Giordano, Olafson, Gallagher, Getzlaff going to the mini. And this is probably one of the, if not the most beautiful, definitely one of the most beautiful quad color Tarasenko for the Blues for Gavin Robinson. And then look at this, folks. Rasmus Sandin for the Leafs. Nick Serino. Double diamond relic. Great second box. Third box coming up right now. Third box coming up right now. So that's why we started. I know, I know we've had a lot of, we get, we're getting a lot of, lot of authentic collectors in this group right now that are chasing very specific teams. Obviously, most importantly, we chase the Preds and the Oilers, but uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, we've got a lot of collectors in this group right now, and I, I've had I, 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 I've had to go to, and I, I don't mind doing it. I post, oh, that's a heavy pack too. My goodness, that's a heavy pack. Uh, I post a warning post for everything we're going to post. So you got to, I, I encourage you all to set an alarm. I try to, you know, I, the, like take exam, for example, the, the, the A boxer that they'll, they'll post tomorrow morning is at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's 5 a.m. Alaska time. So uh, that's early for me, but it's not uh, it, it, for the rest of you. It shouldn't be that early, um, but set an alarm. Do what you got to do if you want to fight out that slot. And I'm telling you right at 8 a.m. iPhone time it, it, or 9 a.m. iPhone time, it will post. All right, caps. Caps we need too, huh? Got a few teams that need to show up here in the last three boxes. Otherwise, it's been a very good spread tonight. Very good spread. Across all the other uh, other teams, man, there's been some heat that come out of this break tonight. All right, exquisite. Let's pull it. Exquisite collection rookie. How about Philip Zadina, two seventy two or two ninety nine? Eric Huey. Eric Huey. I believe you pulled a card very very similar to this last night, didn't you? This is Zadina, two seventy two and nine two ninety nine. Exquisite rookie card. Very beautiful card. Gotta get these 180s a little closer. 
I don't have to stand up every time I have to reach for them. There they are. Right there. And then let's get in. I'm telling you, this, folks, this, this pack is heavy. This pack is very heavy. Very heavy. It is heavy. wonder what could be in it. We just pulled a twin diamond card, so I don't know if there's going to be another diamond card this soon. Doesn't look like it, at least not a regular diamond card. But this is heavy. Very heavy for a pack. All right. First up, it's going to be a Sidney Crosby, 134-249 for the Penguins. Mark Sovic. Awesome. Always cool when number 87 shows up. Base card, Crosby for the Penguins. Nice hit. Sovic. There you go. Next up out of the third box is going to be, how about a, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ben Watson. How about a Cam Neely auto for the Bruins? Ben Watson picking up a Boston Bruins hit. Cam Neely. Right winger for the Bruins. A little throwback sparkling script. That is a monster right there as well. Oh my goodness. Look at these great cards coming out of this, these boxes tonight, folks. Thank you so much for joining us tonight because uh, this has been a show. This has been a show for the show, huh? Beautiful. Cam Neely for the Bruins. Ben Watson. All right, let's get into a thick card. Coming up next, here's a thick card. Yep, Quinn Hughes, Team Logo Jumbo. There you go, Sean Heckman. So we got three, three of three for the top rookies. Team Logo Jumbo, Quinn Hughes. Quinn is in the house now. There you go. You got Quinn and Elias under your belt tonight. And there's still two and a half more boxes to go. Team Logo Jumbo, highly collectible, that one, especially for Quinn Hughes. Beauty. All right, folks. Another thick card coming up right now. How about a Barrett Hayton? Barrett Hayton. Diamond debut relic jersey card numbered 265 at 349. Pushing the mini goes to Nathan Degagne. Nathan Degagne. There you go. Diamond debut relics. This one is going to Canada. Diamond debut relic for Barrett Hayton. Going to Nathan Degagne. Congratulations. And looks like we got one card left. And it's going to the leaves. And it's going to, it's an, oh, wow, look at that bad boy. Austin Matthews Diamond Cutter. Nick Serino. There you go. That's a good card. I, it's, it always blows my mind. Every one of these we've pulled over the past month has been in the pack backwards. There's a Diamond Cutter for Austin Matthews for Nick Serino. Give us a thumbs up if you're here tonight with us, Nick. I know you're here earlier. That is a beautiful card right there. Nick Serino taking home an Austin Matthews diamond cutter. Phil Zadina, exquisite rookie. Barrett Hayden, Jersey. Quinn Hughes, team logo jumbo. Cam Neely, black diamond sparkling scripts for the Bruins. And a Sidney Crosby, 134 to 249 base card. Third box of black diamond behind us. Let's get into the fourth box, shall we? Yeah, Sagan. Yeah, we need some Sagan cards. We do. We do need some Sagan, Sagan cards. Yeah, I don't know what uh, Sagan, I don't know how, how many or how hard the Sagan's offerings are uh, this year. I'd have to, we have to consult the checklist for all these cards. I haven't seen much from Sagan. Sagan, every, uh, we've seen a few Sagan hits come out of um, SPX and game use. That's a nice, thick, heavy pack again. Uh, SPX and game use have had a pretty good population of Sagan, Ben, Radulov, and, uh, and, and Bishop so far this year. I don't know how many Sagan cards we pulled out of Black Diamond, but heck, I'm willing to look. Let's take a look. Here we go. Exquisite. Fourth box. Oh, wow. Sidney Crosby. 155 out of 299. Mark Sobic. There you go. Nice. Crosby. There you go. How about a Crosby? Crosby Exquisite. Hammer at home for number 87. It's the second one we pulled. Second, second uh, Crosby card we pulled here in, in two boxes. 
Very, very, very nice. Yeah, let's see if we get a massive pull. I'm feeling like we might get a massive pull out of this one. This is a very heavy pack. Very heavy. Oh, yes, yeah, folks, buckle up. What did I tell you? We're, we've got good luck with Black Diamond. And this is why. Look at that. Take a look. You know what that means. Well, we've got a Rasmus Sandin Double Diamond sitting on the table out of five boxes. Let's see if we can add something super fancy to it as well. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I got to take a little, I got to pace, pace around a little bit. Sit down. We got maybe three cards to get through before we get to that black, whatever that black border is down there. Oh, yeah, here we go. First card, fourth box. How about a Mark Scheifele, 156 out of 249. Brian DeGrace. Mark Scheifele. There you go, a little base card going to, number to, number to uh, 249 going to Brian DeGrace for the Jets. And next up, next up coming out right now is going to go to, oh, beauty. How about a Philip Zadina? Eric Huey on the board again, 157 to 249, silver on black rookie signatures. That is a very nice card. I love silver on blacks this year. Absolute beauty. Zadina, you have been taking Zadina's all over the place lately. Look at that. And I remember I still got that Red Wings uh, team logo jumbo you're looking for sitting over here on my desk. I have got it pulled for you. Yeah, don't tell Steve. Do not tell Steve. Coming up next, how about Eric Brandstrom for the Sens team logo jumbo? Curtis Robinson. Black Diamond team logo jumbo for the Senators. And next up, folks, we have a black border card. Don't know who it is. Don't know anything about it. Can't guarantee what it is or isn't. But I'm very interested to find out what could be waiting for us on the next poll. Are you ready? Give me a thumbs up in the stream chat. Yeah, that it's sitting on my desk. Shoot me DM, we'll talk about it. Uh, man, every time I think about that, I think about that, uh, that Zadina you pulled out of Artifacts last night. Oh, man. I'm not a Zadina fan per se, but holy smokes, I am an artifact. Oh, goodness. We'll figure it out. Here we go. Philip Nascimento says, let's go. Let's pull out the next black border rock and roll. Who is it? Oh, wow. Oh, man. Look at that. Timo Solani for the Ducks. Beautiful relic card with a super exquisite patch in there. One of 15 go to the mini. That's a Larry Resch hit. Larry Resch picks up a beautiful, beautiful relic. Oh, wow. Timu Solani. Let's get that wrapped up for you, buddy. There's a huge relic hit that goes to the mini. The Timu Solani, old school Ducks action. Alternate captain, one out of 15. Look at this patch on here, bud. Ooh, beauty. You want to grab me some 180s? That's my last one. All right, Larry Resch, number one out of 15. Any new diamond card? What's up? Any new diamond card? Not yet. Do you want more what? 180s, please. Grab me some 180s over there. And last card coming out of the fourth box is going to go to a, let's see, a sideways action. How about some Ted Lindsay action for the Red Wings? There's another Eric Huey pickup. Ted Lindsay Hardware Heroes with the acetate in her. Beautiful. And Hayden's going to pull me a 180 top loader to put this in for you. To Ted Lindsay. As we crest an hour and a half in the stream tonight, folks. Sorry if this is taking so long, but I just love doing this for you guys. All right, how's it coming? Your hands are probably so tired from hockey camp. Is that why it took so long? No, I'm just kidding. It wasn't bad at all. Ted Lindsay. Rookie Jumbo for Bramstrom, Zadina, SOB, Shifley, and Crosby. And how about this beauty of a relic, 1 of 15, for Timu Solani. Timu Solani. Fifth box, Black Diamond. Let's do it. And then you know after that. Good, Eric. I'm glad. I'm glad you love this group, bud. You are swinging hard with that Detroit Red Wings axe right now. 
This has been a good break for just about everybody in here, except for us, the Preds, but we'll take it as the home team. Maybe we can, maybe we'll put a smile on our face with this last box. Who knows? But you guys, uh, I love, I love being able to support you guys. Like this has been fantastic. And this is a lot of fun for, for myself, for Hayden. Oh, I'm sure Steve watches all the videos. I know. My goodness. That's a, that pack is heavy too. They're all heavy, but man, this is dripping wet. Yeah. Have Hayden come over and check this waist. Hayden, come check this. Is it heavy? I think there's a draft day mark. In, in, in Black Diamond, DDM. <laughs> uh, those are in SBX, I think, right? Or SB Game Use. DDMs? I guess they could be in Black Diamond. It is an Upper Deck product. Upper Deck does weird stuff sometimes. A rookie jumbo. Okay, we'll see. I'm sure there is. At least one. Exquisite rookie coming up. Look at that. And look at that! There's a Quinn Hughes for you, buddy. Sean Heckman. 32 of 249. Quinn Hughes, 05 Romeo, Quebec, Hotel. That is the Quinn Hughes ringing the doorbell again for Sean Heckman. There you go. And I think we're on our third box of 180-point protectors tonight. Or not tonight, just in this break alone. How about that? Quinn Hughes, buddy. There you go, Sean. Have not seen Vegas yet. Oh, you have one. You already have one of those? Okay. All right. Yeah, we could use some Vegas. We could use some Vegas, huh? We still got an opportunity to pull some co or pull some uh, some some young guns out of uh, our. Remember, that's our that's our eleventh box coming up next. We've gone through three, three of those months. so far. Three of those. Yeah, we got a lot of a lot of big time hits. And oh my goodness, look at that! What do we got again? Bro. Look at that, bud. You see it? We've got a black border. Another black border. We've got a black border. And That's thick three cards. black borders in this box. We have a black border, then two thick cards in a row. Oh my goodness. Yay. All right. Yeah, the Oilers. The Oilers need to show up. How about the Oilers? The Oilers need to show up in this break. They've been in. No, uh, Nathan Degania has the Oilers. Here we go. Ovechkin. Oh, there's a limited Ovechkin. 37 of 99. A little limited variant for the Capitals. There's Sean Heckman again. No, not a 3 of 5 quad diamond, but it is a 37 of 99 gold limited variant. Uh, that is a beautiful card right there for Ovi. And that's going to Sean Heckman. He picked up the Capitals late in the game this afternoon. Mm-hmm. Minnie needs to hit a quad. That would be cool. All right. Four cards left. Here's your black border coming out right now. Oh, Jesus. Good night. Hayden. This is the third one we've pulled this year, folks. Philippe Nascimento. Hayden's tongue is numb. There is a, oh my goodness, how are we doing this this year? How is it that we're doing this this year? That's the second diamond card that we pulled out of this, my goodness, out of this sealed inner. And it, it's, it's we, we pulled a, we pulled this first, a Sandin, two, and now we pulled a, this is our third quad diamond Jack Hughes we pulled this year. That's our third one, Hayden. What's the problem? It's magical in this group right now. I don't even know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Like, that's the third. Wow. There's only 99 of them in the world, and we own, we, we pulled three of them this year. Maybe we can get online. What's the number? I'm sorry, Ray. The number is 83 out of 99. Number? I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, I'm one touching it. Oh beauty. Oh beauty. Oh. Oh beauty. So yes, this is correct. That is the second quad diamond that has come out of this master case. We got a quad OV we pulled on Friday morning, and this is a Jack Hughes quad that just came out. You witnessed it, folks. That is the third quad diamond Jack Hughes this group has pulled this year. Wow. 
Philippe Nascimento, uh, congratulations. <laughs> congratulations. Give us a thumbs up if you like that, because that is awesome. That is sick. Sick, 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 sick. Woo! All right. Well, we still have three more cards in this box. What's the next one? There's a Zadina. <laughs> Eric Huey. I know you said uh, last box was your last chance, but I don't remember. Is this one of the ones you're looking for? That might be the, I, I don't remember, but that looks very familiar to the one we have. Yeah. Eric Huey. How about that? There's a Zadina for you. How about it? If you didn't love the, if you, if you were saying you loved the group before that. The one I need. The one I need. There you go. Awesome. There you go. So now you might just have to sell me that Zadina artifact card. Not trade me. Huh? Good for you. I, if you didn't love the group, if you, you know, you, you thought you loved it a box ago. How about now? There you go, buddy. Thank you. And thank you. And we're very glad to help you get to your goal of that, of that complete set. Sick. He, so there's six, there's six of those patches that all go together to make one big patch. Yeah, he was looking. So we have this one, but he was looking for it. So he was going to try to pull it from this break. Otherwise, we were going to like trade it to him or something. That's awesome. Awesome. Sick. Well, we're glad to help you out. I, th I was going to say that looks a lot. That, look, that one looks very familiar. That's probably the one you're looking for. How about for the ducks? The ducks. Diamond Mine Relic. Silverberg. That's going to the mini. Mr. Larry Resch with no serial number on it. Larry Resch picks up another one. Beautiful. Great break across the board for just about everybody but the Predators and the Oilers so far. Black Diamond. Trent Frederick. Bruin Rookie Gem. 311 out of 399. Bruins Ben Watson. Hold the letter that they signed. The letter that they signed? Yeah. That's a DDM. Draft a mark? Mm -hmm. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, that's out of SB Game Used, mm -hmm. I think. All right, Trent Frederick, Silverberg, Zadina patch that Eric Huey was looking for, Ovechkin 99 variant, 249, exquisite, and my goodness, buckle up, folks, there is another quad diamond Jack Hughes. So we are responsible for one, essentially pulling just over one thirtieth of the population of those cards out of Alaska this year. That's all I have. Is that is all I got? Sure. Aiden's gonna give it away. Test. Oh my. Beautiful. And we helped out somebody getting their, uh, getting wrapped up there at the end for their, uh, their Detroit Red Wings Phil Zadina patch collection. Beautiful. Yes. Rock and roll. All right, folks, before we get started on this tonight, got seven packs coming up right now, chasing some young guns. We have break one, two, six, which is another three boxer of your favorite game used SPX and Black Diamond that's live right now. We can get that filled up. We can break it tomorrow. And then 9 a.m. tomorrow, this is your verbal warning. I've already given out the actual warning. 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, 161 drops. 161, in case anybody didn't see the post, 161 is this. Two boxes of 20 game used, two boxes of 1920 Black Diamond, two boxes of 1920 SPX, and two boxes of 1920 Trilogy. That is going to be a super fun break. So that launches at 0900 Eastern Standard Time tomorrow, 0500 Alaska time. Yes, yes. Yeah, Gavin, we did see it. Hayden loved it. Uh, he was featured. That was cool. We did. We saw it yesterday. All right, who's ready for some, uh, some Series 2 action? Let's blow through these so everybody can get to bed on time tonight. Well, at least we might be able to. What time is it? Hour and 38 minutes on this break. Holy smokes. Thanks for hanging in with us, folks. Ryan McDonough. Ekblad. Schwartz. Orlov, Stahl, Pekka Rene, Adam Henrique, and Pionk. Yeah, you want that for your special book? Cool. 
Matthews on the front. Jumbo. Yossi. Jujar Kara. Oh, cool. Jujar Kara. We just actually just got a whole bunch of his young guns in the mail. Patrick Line. Adam Fox for the Rangers. Justin Connerth. Yeah, it's a UD portrait rookie. Justin Connerth with a Trocheck, Kachuk, and Eichel base behind it. There you go, Justin Connor for the New York Rangers. You can have a UD portrait. No, it's going to go to Justin Connor. No, the ones that go to the mini do. All right. There you go. Pack number three. Ryan Getzlaff, Hartman, Backstrom, Vatanen, Corey Perry for the Wild. Or, I'm sorry, for the Stars. There's a Sarah Rossino pickup. We'll push that to Sarah Rossino. A little Corey, or Corey Perry ins, uh, insert from OPG. Vesi, Anisimov, and a checklist for Series 2. Sarah Racino, push that Corey Perry OPG insert to you. Crazy card, but hey, it's a card nonetheless for the stars. All right, we're about due for a young gun. Buckle up, maybe we'll get at this pack. Andrew Shaw, Zingle, Flapula, Autocovula for the Islanders. And that's a mini... Another mini young gun. All right, you know what that means. Auction's coming later. Connor McDavid base in there. Felino. Uh, like Monohan. Jonas Donskoy. Right. All right, let's see here. All right, Auto Covula. That's going to be uh, raffled off style 10 times, 10 times the mix to the mini. And then I'll post the results when I post up the pictures and the YouTube post for this break once we host it. Not bad. There's our first young gun. Let's see if we can get another one. All right. Auntie Ranta, Trevor Lewis, Panarin, Pavelski, Nyquist, Dubinsky, Marchesaw, and Goodis. All right. Second to last pack. What a break this has been. Mm, yep. Series one, though, I think. We got a bunch. We're good. We're good on Fabros. Milan Lucic wearing a Flames jersey. D'Angelo, Kevin Hayes, Myers, Miller, Larson, Corey Perry, and Frolic. Nope, Adam Larson. Okay. Druin, Tuck, Dubnik, Keller, Zut, oh my goodness, Eric Huey. What are you doing in this group tonight? I can't look. Zadina, Young Gun. No, let's not look. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Heskinen, Anderson, and Howard Base behind it. Eric Huey, you've had a, what I would consider a very, very good past couple breaks. There is a Zadina, Young Gun for you, Congratulations. That is a beautiful card to have. And it is very, very, very pack fresh with sharp corners and very gradable. Uh, I don't know if you're into that thing or not, but mm, you take a look when you get it because it's coming your direction. Well, there's your two young guns. The autocovula is, uh, is, uh, the autocovula is going to go raffled out to the mini here very shortly when I post up the rest of the, uh, the rest of the pictures and everything else uh we got so many diamonds mean, this is this has been a great break and you guys are you guys are the best thank you for coming along on this ride with thank us you. uh thank you for coming along on this ride with us this has been uh this has been fantastic this is a lot of fun tonight this is some ridiculously good cards that came out of this break 9 a.m tomorrow we got another of our we'll call it semi big breaks posting with that eight box or and i'm gonna get some more black diamond lined up for you i'm gonna actually take some time tonight and put together the next couple breaks but we got to get some we got to get a lot more black diamonds and a lot more artifacts going because this was a phenomenal break. Uh, thanks for thanks for hanging out with us tonight, guys. Eric Huey, you should tickle yourself. 